Hello everyone. Um, today is going to be a short video. I'm mainly just going to talk about how the concepts of evolution I've been talking about directly relate to viruses, including the one that is going around now. Um, so at the end of this video, there's going to be some optional things that you can look at over break. Um, the only thing that you really, really have to do in the near future is in the orange box, please complete the natural selection reading um, on CK12 and click turn in because it is going to be graded. Um, I may even put that in as like a quiz grade that should boost a lot of people's quiz grades. So um, don't pass that one up. Please complete the reading. Okay. So life is evolving. And you've seen it evolve quickly in some of those videos, specifically with bacteria. Now, viruses don't have their own cells, so we don't consider them necessarily living, though I struggle with that concept. I think you could make a fair argument for, um, in every way, them being living except for having cells. Um, and as such, we like to say that viruses evolve quite a lot. And we are struggling with a new one, COVID-19, which evolved this past December. Um, and we're going to dive into that more after break sometime, but uh, I do want you to think about these things over break because you'll have time and you'll probably be talking with family um, about the virus to some degree. Um, a lot of ways that we model viruses um, is that we follow their spread. And so on the news, you're probably seeing um, you know, where, what countries are affected, where this virus has spread, um, where is it going? One way that people have, uh, modeled this, move my face out of the way, is, uh, through games. If you've never heard of it, there's a game called Plague Inc. You can actually download this game as an app on your phone for free. I have the free version on my phone. And this game used to be all about infecting the world with a virus, so kind of a, a real bad <laughs> motto to the game. But recently, as of like <laughs> two days ago, you can see the date here, um, they are uh, developing a new mode on this game to contain the outbreak because of the situation that we're in. So again, some of you maybe already know what I'm talking about here, but it's a pretty addictive game. It's not 100% scientifically accurate, but it does communicate some important things about the spread of virus the ways that diseases and viruses can evolve. Um, but take this with a grain of salt. It is not made by scientists. It's made by software engineers. But it is valuable, and it's kind of entertaining. So if you like to focus on this as we struggle through this pandemic um, and you find that enjoyable, please go ahead and do that. Um, by no means do you have to, though. That's an optional activity. Um, so again, that's kind of what that looks like. It's called Plague Inc. Um, there's another game if you're a little bit more uh, optimistic, like I am. Uh, I actually own this one. It's called Pandemic. Uh, they don't have an app for it, but it's a board game at where you try to save the world and you have to work together as a team. But uh, it's a pretty entertaining game. We were going to play it at school. I actually have a lot of copies at school, but unfortunately we're not there now. Um, but it's a cooperative game to try to save the world. Uh, if you uh, have access to none of those things, I will post this link in Canvas as well. This is a really old version of the game Pandemic where um, the disease is spreading and um, like, you know, it moves across the world as these icons move and you have to try to do things to stop the spread of it. Um, but I'll leave that to you to explore. Again, if you're interested in pursuing this topic of pandemics, if this at all stresses you out, by no means, you do not have to do this. Um, the thing I will probably recommend the most to you is this. And again, some of you might not have access to this, and I apologize, but these are just optional assignments. Um, if you have a subscription to Netflix, there's a series called Explained. Uh, it's like 15 to 20 minute educational videos about different topics. They have a really good episode uh, on pandemics that came out um, last 
November, one month before this pandemic started. And the episode's called The Next Pandemic. Uh, it's a really good episode. It gets into the science of how this virus evolved, like many of the other new viruses. Uh, and it goes over kind of previous viruses and what they look like. So I highly recommend that episode. If you at all have the capability to watch Netflix and this 20-minute episode, uh, it's really, really good. Uh, kind of sends chills up your spine because it's so accurate to what actually happened one month after this episode was released. So, again, that's on Netflix. The series is called Explain, and it's I think it's season two, episode seven, and it's called The Next Pandemic. So, uh, again, these are all just optional things for you to be exploring over break. Um, if you enjoy any of these, please let me know. Uh, feel free to email me at any time. But otherwise, uh, check Canvas, and we will see you after break. <laughs>